Well, it should be a lot of action because the one thing that these two teams have in common, they're letting up a ton of points. Both okay. teams are giving up over 30 points a game this season. Both ranked in the bottom five. So as I watch this one, we have Justin Fields on one side. We have Sam Howell on the other side. Can anybody stop anybody? That, to me, is going to be the difference maker in this one. And, you know, look at these teams as being electrifying on offense all the way. But when the defense is struggling the way it is, that's what it is. You look at the Chicago Bears, 14 straight games of giving up more than 25 points. That goes back to last year. And when you look at their losing streak, you start to wonder why. Well, when you're giving up that many points, it's hard to win a game. Doesn't matter what the offense does. That's just what it is. Both of these quarterbacks have been picked off five times. They're tied for second in the NFL. Defense. Secondary, let's go. Step up, make a play. Thursday night football, prime time. Everybody's watching. Someone has to step on the defensive side of the ball for both of these ball clubs. They have the talent there. The pass rush for Washington is unbelievable, but it just hasn't, flourished. It hasn't come to fruition as far as stopping people from putting the ball in the end zone. Something's got to give on this one. I, I, I think this game's going to be close. I really do. And if you've been paying attention to the Bears for the last 13 games, I think that they will have a shot at the end of the game to win it. I think the ball will be in the field's hands. Here's the dirty little secret about this 13-game losing streak. If you might say, give Fields a chance or he needs more help, Justin Fields has had a lot of opportunities at the end of games to give us the drive, the mm. win. Look at this full screen, guys. This is during the 13-game losing streak in the final three minutes of regulation. Really, really bad. Wow. Six interceptions, one touchdown, 29 rating. I'm telling you, if you have not paid attention to the Bears, and I'm sure you haven't, and I mean really watch the games, there's so many times they've had a moment where it's Justin Fields going to be a hero. Let's get into it. Week 9 last year during the losing streak, they're trailing third by three points at the 4th and 10. They can't make a play. The Dolphins win. The very next week, Week 10, blow a huge lead against the Lions. This is Fields trying to be Superman and break tackles. Nope, it's over. Can't get the win. The very next week, 2022, week 11, they're down three to the Falcons. Guys, let's get a win. Nope, intercepted, oh. ball's too high. Two weeks later, 2022, they lead. They led the Packers by nine in the fourth quarter. It's over, they lose. This is like every time you're like, all right, Justin, let's do it. <laughs> Be a hero. You know this one, this is earlier this season. Here's the, nope, it's over. Intercepted on a screen pass because they were in the same play the prior snap. And then last week. Last week was the Nadir. This is the one. This is the bottom. But after the Broncos took the lead, Fields had the ball. Yeah. Let's have a winning drive. Get us in field goal range. Anything. Intercepted. It has happened time and time again. Justin Fields is far from blameless. Far from it. He's been a lot of times just like, he threw an interception. We blew it. We're done. Um, I think he's going to have a chance tonight. Mm -hmm. It's the longest losing streak in Bears history. You have a beatable Washington team on a short week. Crazy things can happen. I bet Fields will have a shot. And I would like just for once, for once, cash it in. Yeah. Cash it in. I get it. He's a first-round pick, yeah. and you're expecting a first-round pick to be able to finally – okay, just get it done. Just nope. make it happen. Um, I'm going back to what you were saying. What do you got? This Washington defense is littered with first-round picks, True. and we celebrate them like they're superstars. Jonathan Allen and Chase Young and Deron Payne and now Emmanuel Forbes. They've given up 1,200 yards of offense over the mm. last three weeks. Mm. Sam Howell played his butt off last week. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jalen Hurts. The defense couldn't stop anyone. Mm -hmm. So you're watching this game. I'm sure you were there as well. You're, you're seeing Jalen Hurts make uh, you know, all these plays, and you're like, oh, there's no way that the Washington Commanders' offense can keep up. They did. <laughs> Howell played well. Howell scored. Yeah. Howell, yeah. fifth career start, goes into Philly and puts up 34 points. I don't, I don't know what else you want from a young man. And then the defense, which you'd think, Riverboat Ron, defensive guy. Mm -hmm. Jack Del Rio, defensive guy. you think the defense would have the ability to do something to stop an Eagles offense that didn't exactly look like they were the greatest show on turf the last few weeks. Um, this defense has been anemic. It has been well below their standard with all the first-round picks that they have on that thing. I hate to start off the show so negative, but it's like, to your point, there's going to be points in this thing. And to your point... Mm -hmm. If ever there was a, a walking wounded team on a short rest after just getting destroyed and annihilated by that Eagles offense, it's this commander's team. This could be the night for the Bears and for Justin Fields to shake it off because mm -hmm. I don't know who Washington's stopping. Buffalo, they give up 38 points. And then last week, they give up 34 points. Yeah. Uh, this Washington defense. That was not a bad Taylor Swift game. reference, but you said they can shake it off. <laughs> Please don't. Peter, you're better than I that. Got we got well, enough of that. I, know. I think we're good. Come on. on. I've read my mentions. We will try to stay away from the Taylor Swift for <laughs> yeah. this segment. There you go. Well, I think, you know, Peter, to your point, we 
saw the Eagles and Sam how what really impressed me is how he was evading tackles. I mean, there were so many times it seemed like he like sneaked under a defensive guy and just made a play. I think mm -hmm. really what it's going to come down to tonight is which quarterback is going to will his team yeah. to win. Both these guys just hit. Sam Howell leads the league in sacks. Justin Fields, I think, is third. I mean, yeah. which one of these guys, A, is going to come out with the cleaner jersey, realistically, <laughs> and who is going to just have enough just grit and uh, almost to get their team to win? I mean, Kyle, what do you think? Can Fields really be that, that guy? I'm just looking at Daniel Jones up on that thing. Yeah. He just got sacked. <laughs> he just got sacked again. All just Monday night. Yeah. 11, 11 sacks. Well, listen. How oh. would a lion concern himself with the opinion oh, of the sheep? Peter, you want a Peter. moment to think about the flesh? What are you the talking about? The person that's commenting on my performance, what does he do? Flip hot dogs and hamburger <laughs> somewhere? That was Evan Neal speaking about being booed by Giants fans. Cover of the New York Post. Sorry, I just had to interrupt this Washington-Chicago barn burner of a convo. They have excellent hot dogs in Chicago, though. At least you know to, what? to segue here. Wiener Circle. I used to go to a place called Wiener Take All. It's incredible. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Wiener Circle's where they're mean to you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's what the Giants fans are being to him right now. I do have one. My, my biggest issue with Evan Neal, and, and I'm going to get really personal looking look in the camera right here. <laughs> You're, you're saying, oh, who they're doing, flipping burgers and hot dogs? You don't really flip hot dogs. It's really, like, you flip the burgers. It's more of a twist. Have you ever eaten a hot dog? That's my biggest problem. It's not calling working class Justin fans Gates. out or taking, no, no, it's that. Uh, Glizzy Justin, talk. No, no, go ahead. Yeah. You don't flip hot dogs. Like, oh, you don't. You're yeah. Flipping a hot dog. <laughs> who throws a hot dog yeah. up in there? Um, I think you asked about just, I told you you're trying to class the place up. We're just a bunch of idiots here yeah. talking about hot dogs. Roll, roll with the, the punches. Um, I'm trying. Listen, if this there game, was... This game, Al Michaels, uh, this, game, this game could be a tough lift for Al in the second half if it gets ugly. I'll just I think Al's going to end a lot of sentences with, go figure. This was a he tough likes lift, to do that. Tough lift for us for the first eight minutes to start the show. It's because of how poorly they played the last few weeks. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Justin Fields needs to break this losing streak. Like, I, I told you this. I think 107 years for the Bears have been around. They're the OGs. They've never had a longer losing streak ever. There's been some bad Bears teams. I'm telling you, Mark Tressman, mm. John Fox, mm. none of these people post lovey have ever done what the Flus is doing. We got to get a win. I don't care if it's two to nothing. We got we got really excited about Emmanuel Forbes' start of his career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I watched him on Sunday pregame. He is what. Like, his body type is not common in this yeah. league. His legs are slender. very thin. Mm -hmm. He's oh, very yeah. slender. He's yeah. 165 pounds. And he had an amazing start to his career. A.J. Brown gave him the business. Yeah. And I, from what I'm told, he's off social media afterwards. He's mm. like down on his feelings a little bit. He's 22 years old. Like, <laughs> Rough this, laughing. 170, uh, laughing. 170 like, is. Like this, these are the types of stories I'm looking for. How does he bounce back? Yeah. Like there's stuff like that. Like, here we are. We got all these first-round picks. I just look at Washington and it's like, if you can't beat this, like, all right, then you're also in that category. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a win at home mm -hmm. against the Bears.